Hello, welcome to Fun with Drilling Engineering. Perhaps, have you tried to repair a punctured bicycle tube before? In doing this, the first challenge will be to find the hole in the tube. To do this, we place the tube in some water and pump some air in the tube. Then you will notice that small air bubbles escape from the puncture. This happens because the gas pressure in the hose is much higher than the pressure in the water. Therefore, the gas comes out. Imagine we go into a borehole filled with water with a camera. We will see a very similar effect. In this video, we see how gas leaks off the formation into the borehole. So obviously the gas pressure in the pores of the rock is greater than the pressure in the borehole. That's why we see the gas coming from the rock into the borehole. Of course, during drilling operations, we need to avoid such a situation. So obviously we need to increase the pressure in the borehole so that no gas can enter. But how do we increase the pressure in the borehole? In this formula, we can see how the pressure in the borehole is calculated. It depends on three parameters. For example, the deeper we dive into the water, the higher the pressure becomes. We know this from a normal swimming pool. The pressure also depends on the Earth's gravity, but we can't do anything about that. But we can increase the density of the fluid in the borehole. The density of a liquid indicates the weight of a liter of the fluid. The borehole, which we just saw in the video, was filled with pure water. Water weighs about one kilogram per liter. To increase the weight of the water, we can, for example, dissolve some salt in it. The density of salt is twice about the density of water. Of course, if we mix salt and water, the mixture will become heavier than just ordinary water. Well, this is a bit difficult to demonstrate here, but we have prepared a sample with as much as possible salt already dissolved in it. If we look at this now, we take the sample of fresh water. It weighs around 669 grams. But with salt dissolved in it, it now weighs 745 grams, which is obviously heavier. Although there is the same amount of liquid in both glasses. So obviously, with the increasing salt content in the mud, we can increase the borehole pressure considerably. If the weight of the salt water is not enough, we can dissolve some chalk in the water. The density of chalk is three times the density of water. This will increase the density of the mud accordingly. And if that is still not enough, we can dissolve some stones powder in the mud. For example, beryte. Beryte is even four times heavier than water. We can see the sample here. So we can adjust the pressure in the borehole so that no gas enters from the formation into the borehole. On the rig site, there's always a laboratory where geologists and mud engineers work. The geologists examine the rock cuttings and determine the pressure of the gas in the pores of the rock, while the mud specialist prepares the mud so that it will keep the borehole safe and ensures that no gas enters into the hole. If you want to know exactly how this is done and how to optimize this drilling fluid mixture, come to our lecture, Drilling Mud and Cement, here in Freiburg. We look forward to see you. Look off.